Good morning, beautifuls. It is Thursday, January 31st. It is the last day of January that seems to have lasted forever, although it seems to have flown by really quickly as well. One of those weird paradoxes. It has warmed up to minus 28 Celsius. Oh, yeah. A whole 10 degrees warmer than it's been the last couple of days. I have no running water in my bathroom sink in the cold because it is frozen. So I've been looking at the ways to freaking unthaw, thaw out, whatever. My taps. Beautiful moon and Jupiter this morning. The clouds hadn't creeped in quite badly enough yet. Or I caught it at a clear time and I was able to see it. Ew. It looks like there's a couple of flakes of snow, but it could just be ice falling off the, the heat escaping parts and creating frost. So it's 9.30, just getting up, getting ready for work. Okay, I've lied. I've been up since whatever early this morning. <laughs> Ew, it does look like it's starting to snow. Um, the forecast said we're supposed to have like a centimeter. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I have to work today and uh, it's... It's a day. It's a day. Happy birthday to my Unky Skunky. It is his birthday today. Two days after JT. So that's fun. And um, I just found our heater. So that's a good thing. And I got to take the dog out and go check on the chickens. The poor freaking things. They did seem to be doing okay yesterday. We checked on them a few times. And, you know, filled up their food and water and everything. And they're moving around and pecking at buns and just being chickens. Be lovely, lovely for the sun to come out. There's a beautiful sunnish rise. It's 9.30, so like it's it got light out a little while ago. I was going to go back to bed, but I decided to stay up and binge on YouTube videos. And also straighten out some things. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't... Um, I don't really have a plan other than making it to work today. Very grateful I've got snow gear. I'm grateful it's 10 degrees warmer even though it's still like minus 28. It's not minus 38 or minus 42, which is a huge freaking difference. <laughs> you actually do notice it. You notice it in the air. Like yesterday, it was crazy the way the sun was just vaporizing all the moisture in the snow. Seems rather busy around today, so who knows? People are getting out and about. So yes, using two different bathrooms right now to get ready because like the toilet upstairs works, but the toilet downstairs is frozen, so but I can use hot water downstairs. I can use both waters here, but the mirror downstairs is a lot higher. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just a little bit of coffee today, getting ready to go. It's going to be a tired day. I decided not to go back to bed because, quite honestly, I am tired of arguing with my dead mother in my dreams. It was tiring last night, sleeping and dreaming so vividly. Um, and I do, I get this occasionally, and her and I just argued in my dreams last night about where was an appropriate place to live. And it's like, really, Mom, come on. I own my own home. Like, this is appropriate. We're okay. So, I'd really like you to stop arguing with me about it, please. <laughs> it's not always arguing, though. Like, sometimes we have, I have really good dreams, and um, we have, like, great conversations. But these arguing ones, I can be done with. Like, come visit me from the afterlife. Great, but I do not want to argue with you. Yeah, so there's my vent for today, which is also why I didn't go back to bed and nap. <laughs> so, you can take that how you want to take it. Has it ever happened to you? Like, your dreams are so vivid, and people from the other side, or people in your current life, or having conversations with you, and you're busy while you're sleeping, and you just wake up, and you're like, okay, um, my body has rested, but my brain is still going a bazillion miles a minute. Dreams are something that have been very vivid with with me, like, since I was a childhood. Um, since I was a childhood. Oh, well, there we go. Um, 
premonitions and visualizations and um, like some astral projection and uh, things like things that have led me onto this path. It's why I read cards and runes and pendulums and th things like that. It's just, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's freaking crazy. And I love science. So it's just like, okay, where's the science to back up this stuff? Um, yeah. So yeah, the, the <laughs> I think that's why I'm a little scattered today. And, uh, And I like going on the eighth year, ninth year of her being gone. My dad's been gone since I was 21. And I see him occasionally. More less in dreams. More in, in visualization of things showing up. So yeah, there's a little insight into my wacky weird and brain. Didn't do dance last night. So I think I'm missing that. Um... That body feeling of accomplishment. I love running a good set. I love running the girls through class. It, it just it makes me feel good. And I wake up energized the next day. And we didn't do class last night because it was frigid temperatures. Like, we're just coming through a major cold spell. And um, quite often around here, like, businesses have a post or two out in front where you can literally plug your car in for when it's cold. And we don't have that at the hall. So that and very dangerous colds. And my ladies come from out of town, the next town over. So I called it off last night just for everyone's safety. But in all goodness, I've only had to call off two dance classes because of weather. We had that weird snowstorm in October. Nobody was really ready for it. And there was a lot of freaking snow out there. So we called that one off. Um... But yeah, other than that, it's a work day, getting ready for a work weekend, trying to get things done around the house. I baked a beautiful banana bread yesterday. And yeah, so we'll just see how this one goes. Today is Thursday. It's going to be an interesting weekend. What moon phase are we in? It's a crescent moon this morning. We're going into a new moon. This is going to get interesting. Are we going into a new moon? Yeah. So there we go. Um, there's a moment of my brain today that I just spewed all over the internet. TMI? Probably. But here we are, facing another day. And this is why I do celebrate the beauty. Um, and we're talking about mental health and everything else this week. It's, um, it's my moment where I stop and take a breath and find something beautiful to smile about and find something to be grateful for. And in days like this, there is always something. We just have to stop and find it. <laughs> so I am grateful. I am grateful for the abilities that I have and the gifts that I have. And uh, the beautiful area that I'm in. Like, is, I'm very grateful. So here we are. Celebrating the beauty. I thank you guys for hanging out here with me and talking it out with me in the comments and sharing your gratitude in your moments because you know what? It's not always easy every day, but we get through it and we get through it together. And the more gratitude we put out into the world, the bigger the vibe of gratitude becomes and we make it a better place. One little vibe at a time. All right. Here we are. Oh, it is starting to snow. Yep. But it's cloudy. That's why it's warmed up a bit, too. <laughs> well, I hope it's gentle out there for everybody. And I hope you have... I hope your day is great. I hope you have a good day. Mwah! And thank you so much. Mm, those kisses are for you. And hugs, hugs, hugs. And I thank you so much for hanging out here with me, celebrating the beauty. I did do a Simple Spells for the Home. Maybe I'll get that done and up today before work. It's just about burning bay leaves and how I do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Being busy, being busy. I tried to go outside and blow bubbles in the frozen, but it was too freaking cold. So I'll try that one again. Um... 
maybe Sunday I have a day off. All right, I love you guys. I hope your day is great. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me, listening to me babble, enjoying the moments of gratitude, little birdies flying around. And I will see you again tomorrow, 365 Days of Gratitude. Bye!